It's a beautiful day at the Harley Gallery. Let's go and have a look at John Birmingham's Bedtime Stories uh, exhibition. And it's free. So we've moved upstairs at the Harley Gallery to the second floor. And it's the second part of John Birmingham's exhibition. So John says it was an accident that he became a creator of picture books. He was trying to get work as an illustrator when the idea for Borka, The Adventures of a Goose with No Feathers, came to him. So he wrote out the story in a notebook, which we saw downstairs. Borka was an immediate success, winning the 1963 Kate Greenaway Medal for the most distinguished picture book. And John kept on having great ideas for picture books. Each time a book was finished, he found himself with another idea. Absolutely brilliant. So let's have a quick uh, look round at uh, what we have here. It's absolutely brilliant illustrations. Absolutely fantastic. And all these books are still in print. And if you've come to the Harley Gallery to actually see the exhibition, you can buy the books from here as well. So this was the Magic Bed from 2003. Let's move across. Come away from the water, Shirley. 1977, time to get out of the bath, Shirley. 1978. Just look at them. Wouldn't you just love a print of this? And just look at that. Doesn't that take you back to when you used to go to the seaside when you were young? Playing pirates. I walk the plank. It's time to go home. Don't forget the deck chairs. And look at that. We've got the dog on the boat. Love this one. Isn't that brilliant? Just giving a quick taster of this. I mean, you've got to come to the exhibition to actually get the full benefit. This is Harvey Slumfenberger's Christmas present from 1993. These illustrations are more painting than picture. Last wintry landscapes, overwhelming Father Christmas. And there's the book. Look, absolutely beautiful. Got the uh, Abacada baby here from 1982. This is where the baby who becomes super strong after eating only avocados. Just look at it, the detail that's gone into that. Absolutely brilliant. Goodness me, he is strong. And look at this, these are actual uh, putting it together. Absolutely great. And we've got these here as well. Look, look at this. It's like Grandpa, that does. Yeah, I've just read this one downstairs. Great book. I might get a copy of this one. Yeah, look. Grandpa, 1984. One of his most moving books. Celebrates the special bond between grandparents and grandchildren. And the magic of imaginary tea parties and make-believe adventures and addresses bereavement. Fantastic. like to go to sleep on the moon? Yes, I think I would. And there's a great picture of the artist. Let's have a quick 
Okay, let's go to the other side. Would you rather and more would you rather? This in 2018. Just look what a brilliant illustrator this guy was. And then finish book. There's no way. Get the elephant to put the water out of the bath. And I think uh, that's about it. So John Birmingham, 1936 to 2019. Such a great illustrator. The producer bonus. Who remembers Borker by John Birmingham? This is the original manuscript here. Which he actually wrote from, at it all up from. Look at it. Absolutely brilliant. Everybody's bonus. Back at the Harley Gallery, there's a new exhibition started last Saturday, John Burningham's Children Books. John Burningham did a lot of illustrations from 1963 to 2021. As you can see probably there, this first started with Borker, the second one was Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, and goes all the way down. I won't read them all out because there's just too many of them. But uh, we're then going to have a look at this exhibition of these illustrations. So we'll start over here in 1963 with Borka. And there's the book. The Adventures of a Goose with No Feathers. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. And there's some information there about bald borker being different to other birds. Just look at these. I won't talk, uh, I'll just show them because it's started to get a little busy. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang Look, The Magical Car, Ian Fleming, illustrated by John Burningham. A little bit different to the, the film, isn't it? But great, great drawings. People forget that Chitty Chitty Bang Bang was written by Ian Fleming, who created James Bond. Look at these. Mr. Gumpy's outing. Well, there we go, I'll leave it at that. Please bonus. <laughs> 